Respected dignitaries, we being the team selected for Yojana event, team ID being YO1031 are going to present the video on our model Ideal Coastal Village. This is the model depicting our idea of developing an ideal coastal village which can withstand the fury of cyclone. In our model, we aim to develop these aspects, first one being tide breakers. Large embankments are constructed to serve as tide breakers near beaches to lessen the impact of storm surge. Second one, wind breakers. During cyclones, strong winds blow across the coast and hence planting trees like casuarina, mangrove can serve as wind breakers. No man's zone. A 500 meters no man's zone is left along the coastal stretch. In this zone, no construction activities must be taken. Fishing jetties. These are the fishing jetties for boats which prevent longshore drift slowing down beach erosion. Stilt houses. This is the design of dwelling places to withstand wind fury and heavy rain. The stilt houses are built as protection against flooding and space under the house can be used for storage. These stilt houses are constructed in cylindrical or hexagonal fashion in order to withstand the wind force. The sloped roofs prevent stagnation of water and helps in groundwater recharge. Interconnected roads. These are interconnected bitumen roads which serve as escape roads when trees get uprooted. First aid and disaster warning system. This is the first aid center and disaster warning system DWS to alert the local people and be vigilant during and after the cyclone. Protected water system. Here is a protected water system. Finally, we conclude that our civilization is impervious to elements of earth and is an accepted fact that nature can wipe out all the humanity from the face of earth in a minute. So disaster management should be considered not as a time, not as one time job, but as an all time task. And therefore, the community as a whole should rise to the occasion. Thank you.